Hello, the topic of today is how I mounted a silent hectic electronic ignition on my R90-6. So the silent hectic consists in the smallest form of a controller, which I mounted in the airbox because it needs cooling and well, as long as the engine is running we have moving air here. And there on the bottom you can see it has two small rotary switches. Those are used for adjusting your maximum RPM, so the RPM cutoff and the maximum advance of the ignition. And it has two plugged wires here, they go very easy. Um, one is the main wire harness and it comes out here through my air intake. It goes right on the coil where the plus, the switched plus is on the coil and on the other side here there's a black wire that goes on the coil instead of the wire that comes typically from your points. So if you want to revert to points and condenser, simply take this wire off, put that on and you're done. That's a nice redundancy. On the front it's also very simple. There's a little hull sensor. It is mounted using uh, the brush bolts, standard bolts, there's enough space for this little metal plate to go in between and this brass rotor which also goes with the standard bolt on the charger. Uh, since this has a lot of signs it will actually give a double pulse telling, telling that hey now the rotation is coming and then it takes two, three and on the fourth it puts the ignition on. This means that you could use this even with a kickstarter because you need typically like one and a half or two rotations max to get your ignition timed. A very simple adjustment, you put it on the late ignition timing, so the idle ignition S mark and then this point has to go half over the hull sensor. I'm not sure anymore was it on the beginning or the end but very simple, you do it once and as long as you don't take the rotor off there's no adjustments to be done. I've been using this for about two years now. No problems. Today, a nice small one. Enjoy.